Alrighty folks, welcome back to another episode of my Knight's playthrough here where we've taken a large amount of overextension in Arabia uh, spending our admin points at least and this is uh, actually improving our influence in Alexandria significantly Global trade has recently spawned and although it's going to be expensive I'm kind of uh, putting it off to yeah, make it cheaper to uh, embrace I'm looking forward to gaining that merchant as that will actually uh you know improve our economy permanently currently russia is getting absolutely smashed by ming trans and the commonwealth uh really hoping that we can pull off that pu against the commonwealth by some kind of a divine luck because he's rapidly becoming i would say in terms of sheer development, he's becoming one of the largest nations easily. He could already be that stage. He's uh, sitting behind Ming currently. But yeah, if we could uh, PU that, that would be amazing. Either way, he's going to help us against the Ottomans here. And our truce comes up uh, very soon. So that's going to be great. But the plan that I have for this episode is to finally take Provence, our one true capital city. Uh, and he has 5% influence in Genoa. That's going to be a very profitable province to take. So naturally I'm going to have unrest going on. But I'm going to try seeing one of my stacks up here. Looks like we can raid in about a year's time. Let's check over this region. Man, it turns out that, uh, let's talk about raiding briefly, guys. Uh, turns out when I take breaks in between episodes, like, damn, it's really hard to keep track of the raiding. But also, okay, so this is ages away. I've only just raided that. Um, yeah, a lot of people informed me that the raiding shenanigans have uh, not been very efficient. We actually need a larger navy, uh, which is uh, a shame, understandable. I was actually really surprised how effective our little navy was here at raiding. But as it happens, it it's basically capped out because it's such a small fleet. So we're actually not gaining as much as we otherwise could. It's still like in this scenario where the development is low is doing kind of uh, everything that we could expect it to do. But that's the reason that I was confused as to why we were losing ducats over here. So yeah, it is what it is. My navies are really puny and weak right now, but hoping, hoping to uh, just in some cases sub-optimally uh, actually raid this, these areas up. See, that was worth 31. We got 26 because our fleet is actually too small. So it's around the 26 range. See, this is worth 49. Oh, we got 49. Either way, we seem to be pulling ourselves slowly out of this kind of economic crises that we've been in for about a hundred years and uh, i'm really looking forward to doing multiple things in fact one of those is taking a naval doctrine and i actually want to take the naval doctrine of chance to capture enemy fleet and i'm gonna really try to try to improve our navy uh, by stealing enemies fleet so for example perhaps Provence we could steal some of his fleet here to stop suffering attrition that's the annoying thing about Arabia man it's all dry lands and mountains and desert and so on all right so this has been raided too recently Again, no idea, guys. Let's go check out the uh, golf area over there. I'm a little bit uh, lost to 
what we have or have not raided, but that's okay. Now I can pay off yet another loan. We're rooting out corruption as well, though. I think we're just going to keep it how it is for now. And uh, when the loan is called back, we'll see where we're currently sitting in terms of that debt. Okay, so this has also just been raided recently. Oh, no. In about a year's time, we can do that. Let's go check out over here. Now, I think I know of an area we can raid, and that's over in these areas. And I noticed that he flipped Protestant. He was Catholic last time, so I know, in fact, we can raid this. But let's quickly just check down. I guess this is all the same now I think about it. No, it's not. Nice, that gave us 63. Nice, dude. Let's make our way over here. God dang it. Seriously, I hate that. To manually do it. Alright. I'm going to rush over here while I feel like I have the chance. Raid right up these areas. I know I can at least do raid right this nation. 5.6 5. 5. ducats, it looks like, of debt. Yeah, so I'm going to try to steal ships. As the knights, uh, we can steal 15% more ships. Even if I get outdated fleet, guys, uh, it would help me with the raiding situation. Like I just said, we need larger fleet, so... That's uh, my own fault. I have lost fleet throughout the course of this game by mismanaging. It's uh, pretty much my my trademark is to lose my navy as Budget Monk. Damn. That's a big stack, man. Melanese. Jeez. Now, in other news, the Age of Reformation is actually ending. And uh, we're heading into the Age of Absolutism, which can be a little bit painful, quite frankly. I find it a little bit painful to try to uh, trigger the crises and manage that. But needless to say, gaining absolutism uh, results in admin efficiency. And uh, that can certainly be real nice. And I'm going to go ahead and take this tech for negative five. Because I am going to put off embracing and it's only going to become more expensive. S yeah, speaking of admin efficiency, we just got 10% there. Which is uh, really nice. We were like 70% overextended and that's gone down. I think we were like 75. Um, which also helps out our economy here. With that overextension corruption, etc. Jeez, how am I going to deal with this stack? I basically have to reinforce one way or another. But then we got rebels coming. Now, increasing autonomy like this is going to basically be a thing of the past. In the age of absolutism. So let's try to do some of this. Where I think it could benefit us like that. To stall the Hormazi separatists. Uh, yep. So be it. I'm not going to state that area out. I'll do it there as well. Provence is just allied to Burgundy, which basically is a joke for us, so let's declare this war. Looks like uh, the French will deal with the Provencian, Provencal rebels, and uh, we can fight this war whilst we 
actually wait for our reinforcements. Dude, I'm really, 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 really looking for a sort of a age of prosperity that is potentially coming up here in the future. We yet, I'm sorry to say, have not taken this high income modifier, which both reduces the cost, but also the, the time in which you construct buildings. And I'm really looking to to hopefully being able to afford to build buildings. I'm so desperately looking forward to doing that because uh, we can see, for example, this workshop alone is worth 0 0.3 and that's without, you know, a manufacturer. Some of our manufacturers will be very uh, valuable. And uh, speaking of manufacturers, the next one is manufacturing so we need within the next uh yeah by 1650 to basically spam manufacturers if we want to spawn that but honestly i don't feel like we need it well how about that spain killed our rebels for us what a legend thank you sir oh Burgundy is getting ripped. I didn't realize. Perhaps that's good for us. We might be able to white piece him. Coalition grows even more. Sadly. Well, in that case, uh, we don't need our navy over here, it seems. We're good. We're real good. I think we're doing just fine. Burgundy has a total of 1k. So that's not an issue. But yeah, let's try to steal some of these 10 fleet here. Yes, indeed, we can raid. So let's do that. And then I should head back around to Arabia. Cool. Get wrecked. Give me your money. Let's rush up here and raid those areas. And then after that, I guess I'll go chill out up near Japan. If I can't raid it, I mean, I don't remember. But uh, maybe we can raid it already. Okay, so can I piece you out once that's occupied? Burgundy, once you're fully occupied. Nice, Cameroon has finished. And I have two colonists available. Oh, I mean two colonies going. That's right. That's part of the reason our colonial maintenance was high. Because I got an event to give us 200 settlers, which set up a new colony. Okay, so thankfully. Feeling slightly more economic after that. Now this is going to be done anyway. Um, I know if we do Guam. That should be an immediate return in the sense that we can raid this area up. So I'm actually going to do that. Because we're heading up there shortly. Now I've got four heavy ships. Even if they're outdated. We should fare pretty well. In this uh, battle. Naval battle. Yeah they're early Carax. Jeez man. <laughs> I'm actually not so sure of his galley. So let's send our light ships here. To try to have a decisive victory over this. We just share numbers. And then we're sitting 75 total. Hopefully I take something. No, I don't. Feels bad, man. Despite Burgundy being fully occupied, he, uh... How rude. He doesn't want peace. Damn, dude. 
stupid coalition. Yeah, so I, I didn't call it out. Uh, often in between episodes, guys, I take a... I reflect, depending on how I feel, uh, on what's happening. And I didn't call it out uh, to you guys, but the Protestant League won at some stage. And uh, pretty much everybody inside the Empire, with the exception of Austria, is Protestant. Currently, this is the Emperor. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, the Empire, I mean, because it's so overwhelmingly Protestant, he's almost within the range of actually gaining some Imperial authority. But yeah, standard stuff. I don't expect the Empire to amount to anything. So where exactly are you going? Provincial Navy? Is there a... Am I missing something? Like, where can you retreat to? What? Okay, the Commonwealth piece is out, which is good because we had some occupations. And he took quite a large amount in terms of development. Yet again, wow, yeah, I guess St. Petersburg had become the new capital of Russia. So he basically took the old capital, the new capital, and then Novgorod. Huge amount of development there taken by the Commonwealth. Oh man, he's becoming a savage, that guy. He's got those Polish ideas. I'm wondering where the heck this navy is going though. What the hell? Because I uh, really would like to... Steal them if I can. I don't understand. He doesn't seem to have a port anywhere. Like, does he have a colony? How can you retreat like that when you don't have a... Uh, a port? Uh, it's probably my own absent-mindedness. I just don't even understand. Oh, well. He's going up around to the English Channel, it looks like. Otherwise, we're just sitting here. I'm almost done coring our stuff up. Give me that sweet, sweet trade efficiency. Making some money. How about that? And, uh... Once our extension goes away. So, was he able to go to Russia because they were at war with me? Like, WTF is even happening, man. That's crazy. Oh, Oldenburg. Okay, he must be involved in another war. Yeah, he is. Okay, I see how it is. Took me a while. They really had to spoon feed me that one. I had no clue what was going on. So he's allied in the war with Oldenburg. So that's how he's able to get there. All right. Now, if the Ottomans do not join the coalition, which I suspect they won't, we can absolutely obliterate them, I imagine, by calling peeps in. To this war so if I can take this bloody province relatively soon that's the easiest solution I think if we occupy that uh, we can get brand uh, burgundy rather out of the war and then I guess looting is part of why I was making money there I don't know um, either way we should be good. We're about to get like our first subject, which is actually Australia. And uh, we're beginning to pull ourselves out of our dismal situation in terms of Diplo points. So I'm definitely going to start considering 
small subjects like deploy vassalizing Ragusa, for example, if that's possible. But hopefully we can have a lot to integrate <laughs> if that's if we decide to go that route uh in the future that's kind of a problem but it's a good problem to have because of course we're gonna have the uh spain and france both of which are pretty large and uh honestly i'd hope that we have more by managing some kind of union see like this he's 44 years old damn it see i was hoping guys if we uh marry one or, th or two of these guys with priority or even these three if we don't have a queen we should be able to pull a uh, Habsburg queen regent and if one of them has a week like this we can claim when our regent comes uh, into power if she does do you see what I'm saying this is a good thing that I want to watch out for is weak claims on the three of these obviously in particular the Commonwealth. That's going to be our best bit of PUing them. But if if the uh, ruler is really old, gives us a very small window of opportunity. I will be taking cash from Burgundy as much as I can. We need everything that we can get to pull ourselves out of our current situation. And our inflation is doing pretty well. Happy with that. Nice. Feels good, man. All right. Spain and the Commonwealth. That's some, I'm not going to lie, guys. I was thinking about this in between episodes. It's going to be really hard, I think, and risky to um, un-ally either of these guys because they're basically going to rival me over anybody else. Uh, so that's pretty sketchy. And why would we unrival them is obviously to, to uh, try to PU them. So, unfortunately, we might find ourselves going in for some kind of crazy truce break or something like that to gain PUs, um, which is always pretty much exactly what you don't want to do. It's going to be hugely costly. But it seems to me that Bachmanis is the most sensible rival because he's actually the weakest. And uh, he might actually become an invalid rival. And then we can finally do Ming. Speaking of Ming, I am apparently a greater power than him. Of course, part of that is the effect that he hasn't embraced everything. He hasn't embraced the printing press. Uh, but regardless, he's the same military tech as us. So he's he's definitely going to be challenging <laughs> to deal with, I'm sorry to say. But either way, guys, I think it is time to take a fabulous nice big chunk out of the Ottomans, which is always... Uh, fairly satisfying and I hope this time is no exception yep rebels spawning down here I might as well walk down there in that case I'm going to send everything down here to the south but yeah guys once I've called this up I'm really looking forward to stating it up and um I think I'll make this my capital city Which is going to cost a base of 200. Uh, I think it, I know it's not going to be. Let's look look at the comparison. Yeah, it's higher development, so I, I think it's going to cost about 200. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Interest is down to 3.7, dude. That seems pretty manageable. Now, I'm, wor I'm worried about the Ottomans' navy. If we can call Spain in, we can. We can call everybody in. So let's check the favor situation. Tons of Spain. Tons, tons, tons. Sweet. Yeah, with France and the Spanish Navy together, we should be perfectly fine in terms of Navy. But I do want all of my troops down here, I guess. To be able to defend my capital. 
So I'm going to kind of chill out trying to uh, fight the rebels, I guess. And our allies should just roll over the Ottomans at this point. Freaking forgot about raiding. Let's go around raiding while we can. Nice. I'm looking at the money that we have. Feels good, man. So I'm pretty sure we can raid up around here. And then I'm going to go up around Japan, which I think we can also raid. It's, it's working, guys. I, I can't believe this. We're making money. What is this madness? Yeah, now I can raid up around Japan, obviously, because of Guam. So there's at least some raiding to be had there. I know there is. Okay, let's just safely get down to our little home region for now. Let's boost our tax income. Wow, that was like three ducats. Feels good, man. Uh, now, we are rooting out a ton of corruption right now, guys. And our corruption is down to sub four. So we're genuinely getting there. We're getting to a point. This is obviously a problem. The fact that we've got to spend uh, 2,000 ducats, but it will reduce over time. But we are getting to a point in which, okay, these are four years away. I know, however, that we can raid something like that. Okay, our allies should do the work, but I'm really terrified about the Ottomans joining the coalition. So let's just do that. Call everybody in. And this should be an absolute breeze. I'm not sure. 35 months. Okay. This war score reduction cost by 25%. Obviously pretty valuable. Hopefully will come into play here. And uh, I'm going to focus down on this guy down to the south. Get some war score here. And um, wait for the rebels to spawn. That's the plan. Yeah. Now I was going to say because of this core... Surely we're looking for a 100% war here against the Ottomans. There is his capital. Interesting. Now, the Commonwealth and uh, Hungary are probably going to take most of the occupations. we got to be worried about that, but we should have plenty to take for ourselves. I guess um, we actually want to take Turkish, which is now an accepted culture, so... I probably, um, that's annoying. We might find the Commonwealth won't even give us occupations in Turkey. I'm not 100% sure. This guy's way behind in tech down here. Oh my goodness. 32? Damn, dude. Okay, it looks like I can raid around Japan. Even the areas that I could not reach. There's no point going up there. I learned that. So that should be good. Yeah, again, to stress, a lot of that is probably suboptimal, these uh, raids. But definitely, you know, it's giving us money. There's no doubt about that. Despite being suboptimal. So... Now... I don't remember their tech, but Hejaz, these rebels should be, uh, because they began spawning when Hejaz was still a, god dang it, I missed this area. <sighs> Let's redo this. We should out -tech them, basically. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. That was within range of, range of the Philippines. Okay, we can see our navy is like godlike compared to his. So hopefully he's scared of us. 
But I can't fight him in the mountains there, there's no doubt about that. If the Ottomans are just scared of us and keep their fleet stationed, that's kind of ideal so that we can protect trade. Nice, interest is minimal, one loan to pay off, and we're getting rid of the corruption while we go. Amazing. Feels good, man. This is genuinely making me happy, guys. For the longest time, for the infinite amount of time, I have been waiting and hoping. So we know that this was around uh, three years away before we can raid, so we're good. Cool. We're good. I should, if possible... Oh my goodness, this, this general is so good, WTF. I should try to take naval battles where we're actually winning in order to try to steal fleet. If we can steal anything, that'd be cool. So we did successfully keep him out of the coalition, which is good and something that I, you know, I must do. There's no way around it. All right. I'm sorry to say that we're basically never going to gain that. <laughs> we might literally never gain that. I mean, there is a chance that even if I PU this guy, it's just a queen regent, by the way, if you guys are going crazy over the Great Britain having a dynasty. Um, yeah, I might not integrate them. So I'm sorry to say we can see here that provinces were 36, but I feel like I just need to do it. It just needs to be stated up because it's just too valuable economically and um, we need the economic value, guys. We don't just want to come out of debt here. We want to, like, uh, really come all the way out. Do you know what I'm saying? We really want to prosper. I really, really, really want to prosper, like, into oblivion right now. Like, there's not... Oh... Bloody forgot. It's I like to sigh. Is he Sonny? He must be. Yeah, he is. Um, well, there goes our flea, three little dudes, but thankfully we did a pretty good job raiding stuff in the meantime. Yeah. Like, if I had 10,000 ducats right now, guys, I'd like to invest it in the obvious areas to invest it. But uh, it's all about those manufacturers. Manufacturers are expensive. They're almost 500 apiece. So that 10,000 would just evaporate. Uh, I'm seriously wanting their money. I should be trying to catch those troops and fight them. People influence is nice. Manpower is nice. That's also something, hopefully, that I can kind of spend but continue to gain massively here. Because uh, as we our economy improves, I definitely want to improve, you know, our army strength. There's no doubt about that. Still, still terrible at sieging. Still the worst siege game of my life. Kind of hurting my pride a little bit, but whatever. Okay. I'm going to try to catch this guy's uh, armies for war score. Accumulate, deal with the rebels, and piece them out. That's what I'm trying to do, and then rush up here to defend our capital. We'll probably have already been sieged. Commonwealth objectively stronger than the Ottomans at this point feels good, man. And uh, for the sake of smooth economy, I'm going to chuck our colonists back into that. So we're now back to colonizing two at a time.
And at this stage, guys, I'm probably going to drop a colonist like here, here, and uh, well, there, and here, somewhere like that in New Zealand, so that Australia can colonize each of the different regions, because unfortunately, they only colonize provinces which are sort of um, neighboring by land. So I will be doing some to Australia, and by that time, he should be able, I imagine, to uh, be wealthy enough to continue colonizing himself. So given enough time, he should be able to colonize everything. Uh, but my colonists, I'm probably going to use them elsewhere. Like, if I could get, for example, California, which might, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I would have said uh, that it it's not been colonized. It looks like Portugal has broken through onto the side, but only just now. So at a glance, I would say that it's not been colonized. Perhaps Spain could reach it. I mean, he probably could reach it. But if we could get California and Alaska, that would give us some merchants. So I'd like to get those two colonial regions up and running if possible. Uh, as opposed to other things. Yes, the Commonwealth saving the day. The Commonwealth so strong. Amazing. Amazing dream. The hero. We're once again in the, the top great power spot. That feels good. And after this war... I, get, I, I should be thinking about Constantinople. So, 91 over extension. Going to be doing something like this, guys. 99. Need that war score, but we are actually getting there, man. Taking war score already. The Commonwealth are doing work for us. So, let's just start uh, sieging stuff down. Nice. My diplomats have not been up to much. Oh, that's right. We were excommunicated, weren't we? I actually forgot about that. That's sad. How dare you do this to me? Now, our aggressive expansion is really kind of outrageous right now, guys. We could have the coalition fire on us. It's de definitely possible. Some improved relations with Great Britain again. Ah, oh, no, my stability. I can see, foresee my epic ruler passing away uh, fairly soon, guys. It's plausible, um, which is sad. All the way down to one papal influence, and uh, we're not gaining it very quickly, but we're actually losing it due to our relations. So despite uh, a lot of our modifiers... Yeah, we're not in the best spot in that regard. That looks like war score to me. Yeah, I so badly want to get a navy up and running so that I can actually... St we have religious ideas, you know? We've been spreading these institutes out here, guys, and they're catching up in tech. I want to smash these guys. There should... Once we start to break out and build a... You know, a navy. There's no excuse to ever be ahead in admin ever again. Speaking of navy, I desperately want to de take some of those cogs. How about up there? Can we catch that? My navy alone is way out ticked. Okay, I guess I can do an explorer. And if we get some early frigates, we can go exploring. I'm not so desperate for points, but that allows me to hire an explorer in the meantime to help me here because I'm pretty desperate because I'm out ticked so badly. I'm just committing to this. 
I'm just committing to it because my navy was all crappy tech. Let's go around raiding these, some of which we're never going to be able to raid again. Interestingly. But that's some good cash in the meantime. Because I think uh, taking these provinces is more valuable than taking inland provinces. No, 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 cancel that mission. I won't give up trying to steal some of this fleet even though it seems kind of uh, impossible with our out tech crappy units honestly I won't give up just yet the key is to kind of uh have our allies help us in the, the battles but it's like impossible to steal anything if we're in a minority here. So this episode's dragging on, guys, but damn. The uh, war itself is kind of a progressing really nicely, which is awesome. I'm not even going to bother with these. I'm going to position them to help deal with the rebels as soon as they spawn. This is the majority of our source of uh, papal influence. is just by converting provinces I would love it if the coalition becomes intimidated and, and disappears I'm not sure that will happen I mean central Germany right now that's looking pretty powerful but uh, I know we can smash Morocco and that's something that I really want to do because that is easy access into West Africa and West Africa is going to uh, be very profitable if we can come down here the ivory coast is surprisingly sparse of europeans and um yeah having a trading company or whatever is definitely possible About to pay off my final loan. Look at the money we're making, dude. Sick. The dream is real. But I'm soon about to pay off my final loan. And then that interest should be a thing of the past. And then we're going to root out the rest of our corruption very easily. Because we're so just balling. Now these occupations that we're making are dramatically improving my trading income. Part of the reason that we are so wealthy right now. As you can see, the Commonwealth not giving us occupations even over here. God dang it, dude. You're spoiling my plan and my fun. How rude. It's not going to give us that either. Well, it's more stuff to raid at least. That's the good news. Yep. We're going to do something like that. At least Spain will give me this occupation. So we will be able to raid those again, which are pretty valuable. So that's definitely the bright side of that. Oh. Yeah. It's like impossible with our out, outdated navy to actually... Uh, there it is. Rooting out the corruption. Making money while rooting out the corruption. We're so affluent. It's crazy. But a lot of that has to do, it's going to be uh, not that way. Once we have this overextension, we shouldn't get used to this, but it's nice in the meantime. Once we have this overextension and we lose some of the trade income, etc., it's not going to be this way. But yeah, it's really nice. So, maybe... We should do that. Because I can't separate piece him. I think I will break the alliance.
And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. The Age of Absolutism begins. So perhaps we'll find ourselves uh, in a bit of peace. Oh no, the war exhaustion disappeared. Sh the war score cost, I mean to say, not war exhaustion. Wow, I should have pieced out while I had the chance, feels bad, man. I should have just taken a bit of compromise there with that 80% and low. We could have probably just not taken our core and pieced out with uh, more land. Feels bad, man, guys. Feels bad, man. But uh, either way, I'm going to be wrapping this war up here in just a moment. So trading companies should be achieved once we move our capital city. I'm going to do that when I'm at peace. That's one bonus. I suspect getting this will not take too long, guys, at the rate that we expand. Um... Multiple universities is something we can catch up on here as we uh, our economy improves. Because I need some of this quickly. Some of this... Ab uh, I was going to say absolutism. Some of the splendor. I need it quickly. And he's still going to be allied. Oh, man, it sucks. Feels bad, man. The age ending there costing me. Still going to be allied to Psy. What can you do? Let's go blockade him real quick. Try to get this war over with. And now one thing I want to do, guys, is do this. Reduced harsh treatment cost. And I want to use my harsh treatment on cheap nations or rebel factions. So here we go. It's time to try to get our absolutism up. Uh, it's going to be nice not dealing with uh, many rebel factions. There it is. Okay, that uh, is kind of sucks because we could have we could have done that better. We could have done that better. That's my fault. I should have been a little bit more. This money's not worth anything to us, dude. We're not going to get any of that anyway. All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. The good news is here, guys, that we are going to call this up pretty quickly because it's a accepted culture group. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed and uh, have the same satisfying feeling that I do to being economically sound. Look at that. We're making money. Um, whilst over, uh, re what am I trying to say, rooting out all of our corruption, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to evaluate the situation here now that I have this massive amount of overextension, but Jerusalem expanding big t bigly, and uh, we are the number one world's leading great power. Feels good, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.